Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you're about to see here. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to go over my husband's June 12th commission check. So he is in sales. He's also kind of semi-retired. He took an early reduced for life retirement um, instead of getting moved with his past job because he had so many years there he did qualify and it was a much better decision for us than him staying or than him moving away and then us trying to run two households because I would not be able to move. I'm trying to get my retirement as well because I work for the state so if I moved out of state I would lose my my points, my retirement points. So I already did June 1st paycheck and that was his summer retirement. I already figured out everything pretty much like forecasted over here for the monthly budget. And we are going to get into just a regular old paycheck. Well, actually, I just did a video. And you guys, maybe if you're here, you would be somebody who already caught this. But I just did a video on my July budget kit. So those are out and those are ready for you to download if you care to do so. But I have um, five different kits and some of them are a little bit different on the inside as far as um, how they're designed. But the content is the same. The only thing different about the content is that I incorporated more pages. So I have this as a second one. Um, the first one you just saw, they're all kind of beachy themed. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. And then I have a fifth and final one. So I did this because I wanted to give you guys some options this time and let you choose the one that best suits your style or the one you think is the cutest or the one you want for your budget planner the most, whatever. Um, and I'm going to continue to give you some options moving forward, maybe not five every month, but definitely some options. So I'm just going to start writing, plugging in the info here. So this would have been for June 12th. And I am doing this kind of late because I'm a little bit behind. I had about a week where I was kind of not really, well, I wasn't doing videos. I was just really, really busy around the house and um, with some things that we had going on, having people over and making plans. And it's been really nice actually. Um, but I did have the occasion to make those five budget kits for July. So I'm really happy that I was able to do that. But now I have to catch up on my budgeting videos themselves. So this would be his commission. Now, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that his sales commission um, is kind of all over the place. We never really know what to expect month to month. And he does get a base pay, and I've talked about that before too. His base pay, um, after they take out all the deductions and all that fun stuff, um, is around $1,200 or so. It's like $1,200 and change. Um, but if he didn't sell enough to cover the base pay, he doesn't owe it back. So it's not what they call a draw. If it was a draw, he would probably owe, it, owe them the money back. So because it's a base, he's guaranteed that even if he sells nothing. Um, however, when he gets his commission, this is after taxes. So let's just go ahead and add this up. I don't have the pay stub in front of me, but I'm just going to give you a general idea. So this would be 27, 24, 29. Okay. And we're going to add on to this, let's say 29% taxes. So that would be about... $3,514.33 plus we're going to add about $1,800. So he probably technically made around this or a little bit higher, probably around $5,500. But then when you take the base out, because that's first, and then you take taxes out and deductions and, and things like that, this is what he ended up with. So that's just a little explanation. Now, he used to make really good commissions um, the past couple of years. And then slowly it just kind of waned, you know, it was just dying down a little bit. And now um, he's had some months where he hasn't really made much of anything. Uh, so it's really unpredictable. And so I consider that we have inconsistent income. That doesn't mean we don't have enough. It doesn't mean that we have too much, you know, it just means it's inconsistent. 
So month to month, it really depends on, you know, what he has going on and um, how we budget it. So these are the fixed expenses that I needed to take out of this commission check. So I'm going to write down the totals and I'm going to actually write down the actuals now because we're pretty far into the month. And so that information is available. Now this is for July. So you know that I'm paying these bills for July and I can't always um, have the precise actual total that's due, which is why I estimate every month. And my estimates are always a little bit high. And I like that because, you know, a little bit high, that's great. You have some money left over. If you estimate too low, um, you can be screwed. So it's always good to guess high. Some of these don't really change. Like trash, it's always $35. Taxes, I always put $350. Things like that. Um, but these are the bills for July. I'm always paying a month ahead. So whenever you see me doing fixed expenses, it's for next month. When you see me doing variable expenses, it's for the current month. I can't really plan ahead for our variables. There are some things that I can, such as groceries, such as gas, dog food. Those amounts don't typically change too much. But as far as the other things, it's like things come up when they come up, you know, and you just kind of go with it. So variables are a little bit more difficult to um, put a number on before they happen or before you need to spend the money. Um, let's see, so I have quite a list this time. So groceries, gas, dog food, uh, prescription for our little Stella. And we had a Walmart run, which was a lot. Now the Walmart run was like, I got a bunch of new t-shirts I got, what else did I get? Um, some things for the patio. I got a couple little drugstore makeup things. I don't know, it just adds up so quickly. Um, some reusable, you know, like the insulated tumblers. I just went there and I saw stuff. And I don't do that a whole lot. I used to do that all the time, which is how we got some of our credit card debt. Um, but yeah, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. And if I do it, it's because I know that I can pay for it. Like I would never go to Walmart or Ulta or Kohl's or wherever and, you know, spend $400 and put it on a credit card and have no way to pay it and just say, oh, that's okay. I'm going to make payments on it. Now, if I was in a bind and I had to buy something, that's different. But if I'm just going shopping and I'm like, you know, just buying things because I want to replace the t-shirts I, I already have or because I'm just feeling like shopping that's not something I would do so that's something it's a bad habit that I released myself of and it took a long time but I had to give up some of those excess spending habits that I had that doesn't mean that I don't spend now totally do but I'm just saying, like, I, I try to be better. I guess that's what, all we can ask of ourselves is that we just do our best. And when it comes to finances, when it comes to anything in life, you know, if you're doing your best, then there's no reason to beat yourself up. Um, if you're doing things over and over and you know that they're bad decisions, you know, if you're spending blindly and you're not tracking your money and you're not budgeting ahead of time because when you budget ahead of time, it really makes it difficult to overspend. You can still do it if you have the money on your credit card, if you have the available credit, but you feel guilty about it, you know? And then you know you have to answer to yourself if you are actually working your budget on a consistent basis. Um, so yeah, it just, all we can ask is that we do our best. So I had some pretty big variables here. And most of this was spent afterwards, after that pay came in on the 12th. And I know that I'm doing this video, it's today, the 17th or 18th, I don't even know. Um, so I'm able to give you the precise numbers that I spent. All right, so the groceries, gas, and dog food, I'm now assigning specific dates to these things. And you'll see that more and more as we go on. But this is going to be for June 12th through the 21st. 
So it's a little bit longer than usual. It's a little bit longer than my one week, which is why I up the gas and I up the dog food just a bit because we do buy fresh chicken for that. We make our own dog food and now um, the formula, well, not formula, the recipe we're using has been altered a little bit um, according to our dog's needs and, you know, her blood work and, and what she just requires. So anyways, we do that and it's good because she eats every bit of it. When we used to buy dog food, they would get like, they might love it the first day and then the second day they wouldn't eat it. They wouldn't go near it. And now that we just have Stella, she's our best eater. Like she loves to eat. But, um, and she's always been like a good variety eater, le the least picky of all three of our dogs that we had. Um, but when we started making their dog food a while ago, I mean, they just would consistently eat it. There was nothing left. So it was really nice because we didn't have a lot of waste. So groceries I'm leaving at 175 because we do have some extra stuff. And I didn't want to up this because I didn't think we needed to buy more, even though this is for like literally 10 days or nine days. But I just thought this is going to suffice. So for the dog prescription, then I told you what I got at Walmart, a bunch of this and that, um, a lot of stuff, you know, little stuff for the house. I needed some new pots for some plants that I had propagated. And um, they're just like these little mini umbrella, umbrella plants and some basil. So now I'm like pruning the basil and I'm freezing it in little Ziplocs every now and then. I love it. Um, and then Aldi, I went and I went to their, um, you know, the aisle where they have all the, um, the weekly stuff, like they have pajamas and shoes sometimes. And I got a couple of things there and then, so this wasn't grocery. And then Amazon, I ordered some stuff, um, a couple things for the house. And then I got a pair of Skechers, which were so cute. Um, but anyways, so I got that. And then Peach Truck. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Peach Truck, but they go all over the country. And this was for four boxes of peaches. And I think the boxes are 12 pounds, something like that. The peaches aren't very big, so there's a lot of them. Um, but my husband likes to get them and he likes to make, he likes to can things and he likes to make like peach jam and stuff like that. So we ended up getting two boxes because he's going to be doing some things with his. He also makes like a peach syrup. You can use it in drinks. You can use it to make a brandy. You can use it for all kinds of things. Um, you could just make it to eat it, you know, on ice cream or something. But we do all kinds of things with peaches and we just eat the peaches because we just love them. They are so good. So if you go online and Google peach truck, you'll be able to see when they're in your area. So at four boxes, I think we got $7 off per box because I think they're originally $45 a box. They're not cheap. Let me see, 45 times four. Yeah, so that would have been 180. So we got four, $7 off a box. That'd be $28 minus 28 is 152. Yeah, that's exactly how much we paid. So you order them ahead of time, you order them online, you pay ahead of time, and then they tell you when they're gonna be in your area, where the pickup is, and then you go and you get in line, and sometimes the line is like hundreds of people. And this time it wasn't long at all. So we do that once a year. Peach truck, look it up. They might be coming to your area soon. So anyways, all right, so let's just pan this back a bit. So we're gonna write down total income was 27, 24, 29. Now the other thing I need to do this month is I need to devote some money back to savings because you know that I took money out of savings to pay off our Bank of America and also the Ashley Furniture card. So I do need to get back into that and, and I promise you that I will. And you'll see that I'm doing a couple things to start right here and I will be doing cash stuffing as well. Um, so I'm going to get back into my savings funds or sinking funds. So fixed expenses ended up totaling. I don't know how much it totaled. Um, let's do the math. I hate the lighting here. I'm so sorry. This is ridiculous. It's like this calculator is so dark. What do I do? All right, that's good. 350 plus 152.11 plus 120. 06 plus 131.14 plus 35 equals seven hundred and eighty eight dollars and thirty one cents so we're gonna put that here can you see me writing 
okay? And now the variables, let's add all of those up. So 175, oops, 175 plus 120, 40, 55, 306, 44, 47, 39, 262, 48, 152, was 1158.31, okay? So I'm gonna write that down here under variables. Okay, and then lastly, I am putting $700 back into our savings. And I don't have the cash for this, so I'm gonna be getting the cash out and I'm gonna be doing a cash stuffing. I don't know if I'm gonna do that once this month because I hope to be saving some more, you know, as the month goes along and pays come in, but it might make sense to do it that way. So let's add all of those things up. So we have 788.31. No, no, no. Let's do it this way. 27, 24, 29 minus 788, 31 minus 1158, 31 minus 700. It leaves $77.67. And for that, we just did whatever we did. We left it in our checking account and we use it for like little stuff. We've talked about that before, like go grab something to eat, get coffee in the morning. If it's my husband for me, get iced tea in the morning, um, maybe buy something, you know, at work. It just depends. Um, speaking of work uh, and buying things, it is like literally once in a blue moon that I buy anything for lunch. I pack my lunch faithfully. Um, I just can't get past spending money on lunch during the work week. And I don't know, people are different. I have coworkers who buy every single day. And I would rather, you know, save up a couple of those days worth and go get something at night, you know, like have something to do after work and like a treat. But I, for me personally, find absolutely no reason in the world for me to actually buy my lunch out. So that is very, very rare. Now, will I get like an iced tea through Dunkin' or something in the morning or even Starbucks once in a while or wherever we have a diner close to our house. So if I leave a little bit later, they are open and I can get some tea to go. That's my, um, that's my vice. Brewed iced tea, not sweetened. I know, don't come for me. People are gonna be like, ew, that's so gross. How can you drink that? It's not sweet tea. I don't know. I just prefer diet drinks. And I know, don't please don't come for me for that either. This is not the channel for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to give you good nutritional advice. But I like Diet Coke. I like iced tea that I put a couple sweet and lows in. I don't know, it's just me. It's my habit. Again, it's my vice. But please don't come for me. I, I, it's literally, I, I don't do a lot. <laughs> so anyways, thanks so much for watching with me or going through this with me and watching. Um, and get your free budget kits. They're so cute. And I really hope that they help you um, budget um, and enjoy your budget process. And um, that's it. Thanks so much for being here, guys. It means more to me than you know. And I will see you guys in my next video.